The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. to Creation is Science, where we learn about our Creator through science and having some experiments and discovering more things about science. Are you ready? I'm Aunt Francine and this is Professor Roy. Glad to be with you. I'm glad you're here. May I introduce you to some of our kids on the Absolutely. set? Absolutely. All right, we have Isa. Ah, uh, hi. Angel. Hi, Angel. Aiden. Hello hi. there. Yes. And Ishmael. Ishmael, great. I can't wait. Are you guys excited? Yep. Yes! yes! Oh, good. Hey, have you ever been to a birthday party? Yeah. 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 Hey, you know what? We got we got a present for it. What do we have for them? You Ooh. Want give, you want to give them something? We've got I... something. So, right. is that, do you want blue? Francine is sure. going to give you something, okay? And sometimes we find balloons okay. like this at a birthday party, don't we? Have you ever been to a birthday party? And we have balloons in a birthday party? Well, I'm going to ask you something about the balloon and what's inside of the balloon. Now, what do you think? Aiden, what do you think is inside these balloons? Helium. Helium. Okay, now why do you say helium? Um, because it makes things float. Okay, heliums make things float. Okay, that's interesting. Does anybody think that it could be another gas? What do you think? Or you th are you comfortable with helium? Yeah. Okay. Hydrogen. Right. What do you think it is? Hydrogen. Think it's hydrogen? That one, the transparent one. Or oh, you think one of those is hydrogen? <laughs> wow. Now, why why do you think we probably wouldn't put hydrogen in a birthday balloon? Uh, because it might explode. That's right. The balloon might explode. You want to be at a candle. birthday party that explodes? No. No, I don't think so. We like fireworks, but mm, yeah. Oh, fireworks. Not, yeah. Not fireworks. Big. Fireworks <laughs> might work out pretty well. That's interesting. Wow. Well, we do have helium in those balloons. Now, we have for helium, we have uh, certain symbols for, for that helium, that element helium. Anybody know what the symbol is for helium? H-E. Right, it's a capital H and a small e. Very, very good. Now, yeah. Aunt yes. Francine is going to do our first experiment. Are you ready to do an experiment? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I'm she's in. ready to do an experiment. Let's see what we got right here. Actually, what we have is you got safety glasses, right? Yes, I do. And we actually have some ear protectors for you. Uh, okay. We oh, have a, no. <laughs> we have a very, very long matchstick, all right? And we have a glove uh, just in case, you know, we don't want your cuticles to get burned. Oh. <laughs> so you can just hold that in here. You got it? Okay, cool. All right, let's see what we got. Now, uh, I've got, let's see, oh, I know it. Let's take a helium balloon right here. Here's another balloon. All right, let's check this. Oh, you want to cut that for us? That's a All right, good idea. Idea. Okay, good idea. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this helium balloon right here, and let's see, uh, I need something to tie this to. So uh, we tie you don't this? have to. Let's see, I'm going to tie it onto this little whistle right here. All right, and we're going to have Aunt Francine light this balloon on fire, okay? Now, if it has helium in it, you think helium has a lot of energy in it? Mm, yeah. Yeah, how much energy do you think it has? Mm. A lot. It has a lot of energy to float the balloons, doesn't it? Okay, but let's see what happens right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right over there. And what I'm gonna do, when we pop balloons, what do we need to do with our ears? Cover them. Cover them. Right, you need to put your ears in your pockets, okay? <laughs> Just, what? Or just cover them, which is easier for you. Okay, How do you put your like ears that. in well, your pocket? You can pocket. hang onto your balloon, but we put your hands surgeon. right over your ears. Don't put your fingers in your ears, but your hand over your ears. That's really the best way to do it. Okay, and uh, Aunt, Aunt Francine, she's got earplugs on or ear muffs, and that protects her brain. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> protects her brain. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to light this on fire, right? And then I'm going to get right over here, and she's going to take that flaming match, and she's going to put it right there. Next <laughs> it to that does balloon. not want to be. And what do you think it's going to do? It's going away. What do you think the balloon's going to do? Is it going to pop? Yeah. Okay, all right, that's what it we're expecting. It wouldn't it if right, there are you was ready? water at the I bottom. Do you have any questions? No. No. Okay. Remember, her name was Aunt Francine. So if I don't remember my name. <laughs> right. 
and you're going to be remembered. All right. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. I'm going to light the match. Your Cover your ears. Right. Cover ready. your ears. Get Cover ready. your ears. Okay. Let's light a match. Okay. How about a countdown? One. Let's give her a countdown. Three, two, two one. one. And Whoa. The balloon popped. Did you hear it pop? Yeah. I heard it pop, but yeah. did it explode into a fireball? Yeah. No, but I no. want that. It didn't explode I into wish. a fireball. That That's interesting to me. Well, that is what helium does. It lifts things, okay? And we use helium in a lot of different ways. First of all, I have a helium balloon right here, okay? And I have those chemical symbols, okay, Ishmael, which was what? Helium, H-E. Right, capital H and a small e. That's exactly right. A really Let's see what I have right here. Okay, now what I'm going to do right here. Oh, you know what? I happen to, I tied this balloon. No, I didn't tie this balloon. It just stuck. It's good. It stuck. Could you put your finger in there and see if you can unstuck this? Unstuck. Sometimes the rubber likes to stick to each other. You're right. They're just stuck to each other. Okay, this will be good. All right. Have you ever heard anybody breathe helium? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. What happens to their voice when they breathe helium? It sounds like a chipmunk. Yeah. Sounds like a chipmunk. Okay. It now, does. you know, but helium is used in a number of different ways. If you were a, a scuba diver and if you're going down really, really deep and diving, you might want to breathe a mixture of helium and oxygen. It's called heliox mix, which is very interesting. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to breathe this helium and I want you to observe my voice. Okay. Remember what my voice sounds like and see if it changes. Are you ready? Okay. But please don't do this at home. Okay, we're not doing this at home. This is one of those things that a professional does. All right, let's see it. You All right, ready? let's try it. Here we go. He's sucking it all up. Oh my goodness. There, now if I voice my, did my voice change just a little bit? Did it get a little bit higher? And you said I'm gonna sound like a chipmunk. Do I sound like a chipmunk? I really do? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So my voice went way, way up higher, didn't it? Because I breathe a very, very light gas. That's interesting to me. It really is. And so some people are going to breathe helium in an oxygen mix, which is very interesting. Now, we have some other gases that are light, like uh, helium. Helium is a light gas, okay? And today I brought with me today to show you a heavy gas. Have you ever seen a heavy gas? Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. So I have a heavy gas, and it happens to be in this tank right here. So I'm going to get this tank ready to go right oh. here. Are we going to like Now, something? inside of this tank, it's liquid inside of the tank, but it's under pressure. When I open the valve, the liquid comes out and it changes into an air gas. And I'm going to put the air gas into this purple balloon. All right. It makes a little bit of a noise and you can hear that noise when that happens. Let me open this up right here. Ah, oh, there we go. Remember the liquid's changing into an air gas and it's filling up our balloon. Okay. We don't need very much of this. Okay, and probably right about there. Okay, good. Now this tank is very, very heavy. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this tank and we're going to put it on the floor so we don't have it drop and hurt ourselves. Okay, all right. Now this, this is heavy. Is it heavy or light? Heavy, heavy. Right, it's heavy. If it was a light gas, what would the balloon do? Why? It would want to float up like yours. It doesn't want to float up. In fact, this gas is five times heavier than the air that you and I are breathing right now. Wow. Oh. If this balloon was the same size as a basketball, it would weigh the same as a basketball. Now, I'm going to breathe this. If I breathe heavy gas, what might happen to my... Your It'll go low. Shall we try it? Yeah. Okay. Again, don't do right. this at home, right? All right, here we go. All right, yeah. I've got to get rid of some of this. Throughout this All right, program. here we go. Then your breathing's getting deeper. No, yeah, no, I just breathe it. Oh. Did you see a change? Have you noticed a change in my voice? Maybe a little just bit of change? Tad. It's a little bit lower, isn't it's my voice? It's a little bit lower. Yeah. A little tad. My voice is a little bit lower because I breathe that very, very heavy gas. Hey, let's do another experiment with this heavy gas. So oh what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on the table right here, and I'm going to fill this up a little bit with some of this heavy gas. And we're going to try to float that balloon with heavy gas, okay? Whoa, well, I think that might be enough right here. So what I'm going to do right here, can you lower that down? Yes. It's very, very heavy. Okay. Very, very heavy. Okay, thank Back you. Back here? Yeah, that'd be okay. great. How's your voice? I'm going to go ahead. We're going to let some of this gas down into my beaker right here. Let's check it out. I'm going to let some of that gas down. That gas is so heavy. What did it do? 
it floated the balloon. The balloon is floating right now on that heavy gas. It's very, very heavy gas. Isn't that amazing? I'm surprised that it's not. Really is. Amazing. That is really a heavy, heavy gas. And that heavy gas is called sulfur hexafluoride, and it's non toxic. And we use it in the industry for electricity because it allows, it doesn't let electricity go through it. It's an insulator. Hey, you know what? We've got two more balloons. And what I want you guys to do over here, uh, can you guys move over to this side right here? Okay, go We've got two special balloons. Why don't you get your big matchstick? You remember okay, what the matchstick yep. is? And I need to get another okay. match on it. And here's another light gas. Okay. Let me let me ask you guys, what kind of gas do you think that is? Wait, if we're walking away, how is this going to You think it's hydrogen? Well, I don't know. You think it's helium? Okay, are we ready? Now I'm gonna light your, I'm gonna light your <laughs> I think your I better match. wear my... <laughs> here, why don't you stand right about here, okay? We're gonna get this going right here. All right, you're gonna have to cover your ears, cover your ears, cover your ears. All right, you got it? I don't really. All right, here we go. All right, now this is going to maybe make a bit of a noise. Okay, are we ready? Okay, let's give her a countdown. Three, two, one, and... Whoa, now what happened to there? Uh, it exploded. Yeah, she stabbed it. She stabbed it, oh. okay? It didn't get a chance to burn very uh -oh, well. But she sorry. stabbed it. That's okay, but I got another one okay. right here. Does that look like a hydrogen balloon? Uh, kind of. Yeah, it's floating. The balloon is floating. It's another light gas, okay? But this balloon has a gas in it that we call hydrogen gas. And hydrogen has a tremendous amount of power and okay. we might just see Barely a big touch it. ball Barely of flame. Touch it, All right, cover your ears again. Here's our hydrogen gas. Here we go. How about a countdown? Let's go. Three, we want the flame to touch two, the balloon. Three, three two, two, one, one. and. Oh, oh, did you see the fireball? You can blow that fire out and you can make Wow, it that was awesome. Was that awesome? That was awesome. So we have different awesome. gases. We have helium, which is a very light gas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Then we have hydrogen, which is even, hydrogen is even a lighter gas. But can you tell me why don't we put hydrogen in birthday balloons? It explodes. It explodes, and that would be bad news, yeah. wouldn't it? That's exactly right. And you know, a long time ago, we had a lighter than air ship called the Hindenburg, and it caught on fire because it had the hydrogen gas in it. Isn't and that it interesting? It exploded. Yeah. Well, hydrogen is a very interesting gas. In fact, you know what? Our sun, our sun is our star for Earth, and it has over 90 some percent of all the hydrogen in our solar system. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. That is awesome, isn't it? I think that is awesome. Aren't you guys having fun? Yeah! And do you like birthday cakes? Yeah, especially and if it's ice cream. Especially if it's ice cream, but you know, <laughs> balloons, we, we, again, can we see that, the helium in it? Do we know what it's in there? We don't know it until we do something with it or we see the effects of it. Let's read, Angel, can you grab your, the Bible? And let's go ahead and read 1 Samuel 3, 7, and 8. Can you Excuse read me. that? Can we go back to our... Yes, you may come back. Thank okay. you. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, nor was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time. So he arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you did call me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord had called the boy. So Samuel didn't recognize who was calling him, but Eli did. And just like we wouldn't be able to recognize Professor Roy's voice, would we? If we were on the phone with him when he took helium or when he took the other one really low, we wouldn't recognize his voice. But the more we know each other by our voices, right? And how we talk and we want to live for Jesus and use our voices for what? For good, good. right? And let's live for Jesus. Thank you for joining us on Creation is Science! Science! Bye!